Hey guys, today's episode actually takes place in Baltimore, Maryland. A couple of weekends ago, I had the opportunity to travel and speak to a group of people on communications and spreading the gospel through social media. And I figured, why not do a whole video on sharing with you one of the most important tips that I've learned on how to share your faith. Hey guys, what's going on? In today's episode, I'm hanging out at the Museum of the Bible, and I wanna share with you guys one of the most simple and yet practical tips on how to share your faith. Let's go. Never heard of it. The Museum of the Bible is obviously a museum about the Bible here in DC. I think it just opened this year. There's like five or six floors. We just passed like the Vatican exhibit, and there should be a bunch of other really cool things. I've had some friends that have been here before, and I'm pretty excited to see what they've shown us on video already. I'm in this room, you can see behind me, all these different books. What's crazy about this is this room represents all the different languages in the world and specifically the colored books here, each one of them actually has a language that the Bible has already been translated to. But if you look on the other side of the room and it's over half of the side, over half of the room, all these yellow books, every single one of these individual books represents a language where the Bible has not yet been translated into. So I'll give you an example. So this is C through D and as you go all along the wall, you'll see all the way to like the Z and things like that. But those are all the languages that the Bible has not yet been translated to yet. So in my opinion, this is pretty incredible. And when you see all the work that is to be done, it kind of helps put things into perspective about how much more we as Christians need to be out there sharing the word, whether that's through the work of like translating the actual languages or just us ourselves being the lights and the word to people out there in the world. So obviously as Christians, one of the major beliefs that we have is that it is important to share our faith. I mean, we have this whole museum dedicated to the Bible, the word, the gospel. Like we believe that this message is worth sharing to other people, but a lot of times we don't really know how to do that. Most of us know exactly what we don't want to do. We don't want to be those kinds of people that are the angry, bigoted, judgmental kinds of people. Like, we obviously care about sharing our faith, but a lot of times we see more negative examples of people doing that than positive ones. wall behind me is a list of all the biblical names and little known fact my first name actually isn't Justin it's Nathaniel check it out guys Gutenberg Press so I know that this part of the museum actually has nothing to do with the video for today but I love that there's actually a section here for science because one of the common like misconceptions about faith is that people of faith can't be people of intellect and science as well when some of the earliest like fathers of science actually were devout believers in Christ. And that's actually what funded them or, or really motivated them to go forward in their science. Check out this elevator. <laughs> it's kind of cool. How do we do this? How do we not sound like jerks as we try and share our faith with other people who believe differently than us? One simple tip, learn how to articulate the other person's point of view to their satisfaction. So here's why this tip is so important. So many times in conversations and especially in like debates about religion or politics, the tendency is to try and summarize your opponents uh, perspective in the simplest and easiest form to defeat and in so doing a lot of times you communicate I'm not listening to you I'm not actually intellectually honest and I don't care about you and that's why this simple strategy is so effective because it sets you apart from pretty much everyone else that's out there it does a couple things for you so the first thing that it does for you is that it actually helps you have empathy towards the other person. In order to be able to describe their point of view to their satisfaction, you actually have to understand their story, understand where they're coming from. Now this doesn't mean that of course you have to agree with everything they say, but it helps you understand the heart of where that person is coming from. 
So these are the uh, Dead Sea Scrolls. Um, so why do we care about them? Prior to their discovery, there's about a 1,300-year gap between the end of the Hebrew Bible storyline in 400 BC. And then, of course, being able to articulate their position helps you understand what they actually believe. And it gives you really crucial information on what kind of questions to ask, what kind of conversations to lead to, and if it actually is relevant, how you can help change their mind and help you understand the things that you care about most.